Hey hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in because in this video we are going to take a close look at the full-size classic arcade machine. I went to the company called Made for Arcade, based here in the Netherlands, who sells all kinds of things when it comes to arcades. I must say like I found this full-size arcade with this Alpha Fight mainboard inside, and I was really curious what I'm actually going to get. But also the form factor of this cabinet, I personally never seen it before. It's not the ones I've reviewed here on the channel before when it comes to these wide screens. Now this is quite basic version also the button layout is just your typical button layout we can find with most of these let's say chinese arcades six button layout for each player but also we don't have like a pause button so we do have like a different configuration getting into the main menu the machines are provided with a coin mechanism that actually works then we have like the kick plate at the bottom Overall, I really personally think it's pretty damn cool, these arcade multi-game systems. But yeah, the art is more like a personal taste. I think it's kind of cool, but again, it's kind of basic at the same time. But I did notice when it comes to these arcade machines from China, basically that's where they build these machines. We have like all different configurations when it comes to button quality, art quality, but also the form factor of these machines. And I must say like when it comes to this version, I must particularly say that that's a kind of basic addition. I mean like when you're looking at the art. But let's talk about the Alpha Fight board itself. And the display it comes with it is not like the biggest model. I think this was like a 27 inch model when I'm saying it correctly. The plus side with a cabinet like this is not like super huge compared with all the other models. But let's talk about the main board and what can we actually do with it. Because this is an old school, let's say, version they basically pimped up. I mean like the Alpha Fighter does have like a very nice looking menu. But we're going to take a close look later. The marquee is light up and looks kind of cool. It's kind of basic at the same time. So the artwork and the team molding is also nice. Like the artwork in general is more like this glossy sticker. I'm not a big fan of those because I have seen like some better cabinets that have like more of this matte finish or like different vinyl stickers. And they're not like argue or something like that. But again, like they are very prone for when you busting them or scratching up the you can see it fairly easy but let's talk about the controls i must say the buttons the hollow buttons they're using i really love these buttons they play very nice and the touch itself they are long travel but not like the point that they're like quite annoying and feeling cheap now in general the buttons he is using in these machines are in my opinion pretty damn cool and they play very nice but let's talk about the joystick the joystick mm, it's always a little bit of a problem with these things it's not like the worst version and it's not like the ultimate wiggle stick, but again, they should like use Selmar clothes at least. Then we have like the coin mechanism that has been configured with the Pandora's box. So basically, if you want to play this thing with a coin, you can do that. You can open up over here and with this opening in the door, you can enter the credit with the button over here. And of course, they have the mechanism that we can configure for a certain kind of coin, which you can see here at the right. Then we need to place the demo coin. You also can find the amplifier over here and the amplifier is just a typical like amplifier i think these things are around like 150 up to 200 watts for each channel and i must say like you can just the volume over here then with like the bass but this thing is a little bit limited but you can also like turn it on and off but that's the only thing that we're going to get with the audio that we have like the coin collector at the front the unfortunate thing is we're only going to get two speakers at the front over here. It's the same configuration with all of these, let's say, arcades. The display, he is using a very nice quality. So, and the reason I'm always doing the view angle test is just to see how good or bad he is. And of course, we do have like a front glass and not plexi. So that's basically how it is with the cabinet itself. So let's talk about the menu. So the menu is similar to the Pandora's key seven, but it only like pimped it up. So we do have like the search option, favorite, history, you can find it all here. You have 3D and two dimensional list. I really hate it because it's one big mess, but we can search the name. We also like search for a kind of subject. The thing I find interesting, we will also have a light gun feature. It's not implemented in this cabinet, but you can see it will have happening in the future. So it's kind of cool to see that light guns are coming to the arcades nowadays. All right, so next up, what we're going to get are like different categories. The first thing I've noticed, like there was no N64, Dreamcast, PlayStation, Portable and N64. But I must say, like I'm happy they didn't implement this because most of the time it runs pretty damn shitty. But let's just check out the search results. Here we can even see with the icon what kind of platform it is. And overall, I must say, like also the menu for going back to the main menu and making a quick load, quick save works very well. Uh, you need to hold two buttons basically and then you get into the menu because we're missing out the pause button. That's a little bit of a bummer, but let's play a little bit of Mortal Kombat and let's see. Fight. 
Alright, so I'm curious like how much space do we have in the inside. I already mentioned this cabinet is quite, let's say, small when it comes to all the other ones I've reviewed over here. And I really like for what it is. But here you do have like the option to implement DVI, so I'm very happy to do this. So if you want to do some modding, I think that is an option. We have like a lot of space left. Here we have like the configuration for the monitor itself if you want to power it on and off. Auto, volume control and menu. Volume control is of course not needed. Then we have like the DVI connection, that is very great but we don't have hdmi so it makes it a little bit more difficult but in the end like if you want to slap a pc in it it's not going to be an issue whatsoever or you want to upgrade it with a different pandora's box and to my surprise they're using the family edition pandora's box so you can just swap it out super easy it's just basically like unplugging it slap in the different case and that's it and that's something that i personally really like about this cabinet because when it comes to the pandora's box this is absolutely not the best one so at the right we do have like the power supply and so far I can see this thing is only having 12 volt and not 5 volt because some of them when you're looking at Gemma we have 5 volt and 12 volt power lines but we don't only have like 12 volt. Not a big deal because the Pandora's box works on 12 volt and this thing is made in 2022 so it's quite a new board basically. And there's also maybe explanation why I don't see it that often on AliExpress for sale separately. Over here we have the input for the control so if you want to basically like replace the Pandora's box you just need to unplug this thing. Well we have like a 12 volt power supply but they also implemented an extra adapter over here so it's in my opinion quite a strange configuration that they made the choice of basically having two power supplies. If you want to do some modding, if you want to replace the Pandora's book with a better one and maybe slap some Pandora software on it, it's possible. So I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, then overall, I really like the build quality of the camera itself. It's a little bit more slim than all the other ones I've reviewed, like the 32 inch or the 42 inch models. And yeah, I think it's pretty damn cool. For the artwork, I think it's more personal. Let me know in the comments what do you think in general of an arcade machine. Would you like have it at home? Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and it would be great to see you in the next video.